Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel, guys. I'm continuing my 2013 NFL draft coverage with basically the question, you know, would the Chicago Bears still draft a tight end with pick number 20 overall, even though they acquired Martellus Bennett via free agency? And it was a question I thought had an easy answer. No, because you give a guy almost $10 million guaranteed, uh, why would you then pick a tight end number 20 overall? And as I began to sort of peel the layers off this and really dissect it, you know, I could definitely see a scenario where the Bears do take a tight end at pick 20, whether it's a Zach Ertz or a Tyler Eifert. And, you know, this is why. They address the tackle need, which is their first and foremost need via free agency, by uh, acquiring Jermon Bushrod. They'll, they'll move Jamarcus Webb to right tackle. And that'll be, they'll, that'll be their tackle situation here for the upcoming season. They also address um, their other big need in my mind, which is linebacker. Now, do I agree with the linebackers they brought in? No, but they did address the needs by, by bringing in James Anderson and DJ Williams. So you would think they were all set there. They wouldn't take a linebacker at 20 overall. That leaves to me three possible positions they could take at number 20 overall. Offensive guard, tight end, or wide receiver. Offensive guard, I believe, is the biggest need out of all three of these. And if Jonathan Cooper or Chance Warmack is available at pick 20, I think that's the pick for the Bears, no doubt about it. I think where you see the tight ends or maybe even on the outside shot a receiver getting into this mix is if Cooper and Warmack are both off the board. Uh, it's, you know, it's not unconceivable, inconceivable, I should say, that both those guys are off the board. Um... But so that brings you know the tight ends into the mix. Zach Ertz or Tyler Eifert. Uh, personally, I would err more on the side of Zach Ertz only because he comes from a pro system. Uh, both had product. You know, Eifert had a more productive 2011 than 2012. Ertz was more productive this year. Um, I don't even factor really that in. I look at Ertz to be a little bit more of a well-rounded pass catcher. And again, I like the fact that he came from that pro-style offense. Both guys, Ertz and Eifert are works in progress as far as blocking goes, but that's where Bennett comes in. He's a very adept run blocker um, and sort of take care of that side um, of the tight end position for you. No, make no mistake about it, Bennett is, is an adequate pass catcher. These guys are just you know a, a couple ticks above him as far as that goes. So you know, the only other position I could see them taking if both those guards are off the board is maybe a, a receiver that really excites the Bears. Um, a Tavon Austin, if he's there, maybe someone in the slot to be sort of that dynamic guy uh, to maybe, you know, you know, Alshon Jeffrey and Brandon Marshall, both bigger receivers, maybe get a small shifty guy in there uh, to extend the field. But again, I look at that as being a very remote possibility. Um, I like the Bears, again, guard if, it, if they're there. But if not, you know, I think it's very possible they take either Ertz or Eifert there with the 20th pick. Let me know what you guys think. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter at S News Analysis. Guys, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll be ramping up the draft coverage here, um, you know, from now through the days of the draft. So be sure to subscribe. Thanks again for listening and have a great day.